Hi, V from Exam Success here, where you can buy and sell notes from top performing students to ACE your exams. Today, what I'll do is I'll go through question 13, that is a sample test of the Selective High School Placement Test available on the department's website. Um, question 13 is found in the Sample Mathematics Test 1 and I've put a link below so that you can download this test yourself um, to practice with. We'll go through question 13 because from my experience a lot of people find this question quite difficult um, and I do feel that there is an easier way to go about it because it is a it is a test that's meant to be done in a very short period but it'll, it also is a test about general ability combined with mathematics and it does require comprehension. Um, I'll then go through how we solve it and then finally I'll give you three points to take away so that you can apply for your future questions so that you can solve these questions much more quickly. So let's go on to the actual exam paper here. Okay so let's go through question 13. I'll go through slowly how I would answer this question whilst pointing out the difficulties and you'll see slowly how it gets solved. Okay, so question 13 says which row was used to create this design? It gives us four options, row 2, row 4, row 6, row 8. How would you even start to go about answering this question? The first thing I would do would be to find information that forms the basis of this question. So I would look up and information for question 13 exists. But then I also notice that there is also this part of information. Questions 11 and 13 refer to the following information. That's the key thing there. There's two, the two areas of information. There's area A and there's area B. Both are really important. And that's part of where the difficulty lies because many people may just look at question 13 and because this design up here is directly related to this people may forgo that this part here information area A is also forming the basis of this question so from that the first point is to actually read and find all the information related to the question Okay, let's go through information A. So the following chart is called a Vedic square. Each number in this chart is found by multiplying the number at the top of its column by the number at the left of its row. So the top of its column here, left of its row is here. Okay, when a product has more than one digit in it, these are added to give a single digit. For example, 8 times 2 is 16, 1 plus 6 is 7. So this is pretty straightforward. So you can see here that 9 times 3 is 27, 7 plus 2 because 27 is made of 2 and a 7 is 9. So I'll draw my 9 here. So you can see that you can actually go about do, filling this in yourself. Okay and this obviously forms the basis of question 11 and 12 which for most people are quite standard questions. Let's go on to information B. Scholars and artists use this Vedic square to draw a design. That's the first part here. Use this Vedic square to draw a design. You can see now that this information A does relate to question 13. A row of numbers and an angle of rotation are selected. So the first thing is they actually select a row of numbers okay, from this square and then they choose an angle of rotation. Each number in the row gives the length of the line to be drawn. For example, using an angle of rotation of 90 degrees and the number sequence in row 3. So there's that little clue to finding the answer. Gives 3, 6 and then 9. And you can see row 3 is here. What I'll do is I'll change my colour. My pen colour so that you can see. Row 3 is here. Notice it's interesting here that row 
column 3 also follows the same pattern. Okay, you see that row 3 follows this pattern 3, 6, 9, 3, 6, 9, and that is the pattern that follows. So you can see down here 3, 6, 9, 3, 6, 9, 3, 6, 9, 3, 6, 9, and it actually continues to form that, that pattern that it's created. Okay, so given this, this is key information here, row 3, and you've found the number pattern. So when you look at it, it's actually quite an easy question. So they're asking you now which row was used to create this design. First thing you'd have to do would be to find out what the number pattern is. You can see that it's all 90 degrees, so you'd go 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, and then what happens after that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then you've got, oh, set, you've got 7 here, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you've got 9 here, then you've got 2, and then you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, And then you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And finally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then it starts back at 1. Okay, so that's your pattern there. That's all you needed to have done. So let me write this pattern out for you. Your pattern is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 2, 4, 6, 8. Now given that this is the pattern, all we need to do now is to find out where this pattern lies on the row. So where is it here? All you have to do, one, does row two, we'll go through the options they've presented, two, four, six, eight. Go through row eight, what's the pattern there? Eight, seven, six, no, it's not that, six. Six, three, nine, six, th three, that's not the right pattern there because that doesn't exist in our one. Four is four, eight, three, seven, two, six, one, no. It's obviously row 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, it starts at 2, however, it start when it's 2 times 5, this section here, it actually starts at 1. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, and then it repeats itself again at 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 2, 4, 6, 8. Therefore, the correct answer here is row 2. I think a lot of people would find this difficult um, if they hadn't read this key section here which is the number sequence in row 3. To me that would be the key thing into, into I guess the missing link into finding the solution for this answer. I, I personally find the Vedic square quite interesting because it actually um, just from a number sequence they're able to create a multitude of patterns and using different angles and these patterns are quite um, quite extraordinary to be honest. Um, okay, so given this we'll go through three points I think we should take away um, and these are, read the question, so the general ability to reach for exam success which you can download off selectivetest.net um, immediately um, go through it, the reading the question area so that will assist you into deciphering where the missing link is and being able to match it with your information to find the solution. For me, I think reading the question is a key skill you need to develop in order to answer general ability questions quite well. Second part is find the linkages. What's missing? In this case, 
I guess it is a mathematics question in that it's asking you for a number pattern, but it's also a general ability and reading comprehension as well reading comprehension as well because you needed to have known that the number sequence in row 3 relates to this part of the question the information area A which you had to which you had to initially fill out and um, understand okay so they're the linkages um, and finally obviously link to solve the answer we've seen that there where I was able to link find the pattern here which is doing the second half of it and then f linking it back to finding the row. Whereas the top part here actually shows that you, you found the number sequence first and then you've created the pattern. This simply is the backwards way. So you've got a pattern, find the number sequence. Pretty simple stuff actually. Um, if you have any questions feel free to ask me um, through help me study at examsuccess.org. Um, I'll be posting up new videos on the selective test um, that's coming up so if you want to sign up at, to our newsletter at www.examsuccess.org that'd be great. Um, otherwise good luck for your exam.